Bulk import is a capability pioneered by Morph Market, which allows you to create and manage hundreds of animal entries with very little effort. This video introduces Bulk Import version 2, which is a powerful upgrade from the original. It supports more than two dozen fields, including description and multiple photos, and allows you to manage animals in different categories at the same time. In the past, this would have been the most efficient way to manage a lot of data. However, with our new Animal Manager, it's really easy to edit them right in our system. And in fact, the ability to edit values right on the list page was design inspiration drawn from spreadsheets. My point is, you do not need to use bulk import to be an effective Morph Market user. But if you are interested, then this video is for you. To manage your input data, we recommend using a spreadsheet tool like the freely available Google Sheets. You do not need to understand much about spreadsheets. It's just to manage your data in rows and columns. In your sheet, the first row is the header, which describes what each column represents. Each of the remaining rows correspond to animals. There are only five columns that are required. Category, Title, Animal ID, Maturity, and Price. In fact, price is only required for for sale animals. If you're importing not for sale animals, you don't need this. Column order does not matter, so feel free to adjust the order of the columns. Our documentation has the full list of fields supported as well as what kind of inputs you can provide to each one. These documents are automatically generated by our system, so they should always be up to date. There are two great ways to start your input file. If you already have data in Morph Market, you can first export that data and then update it and re-import it. You can also just start out from our sample template. You cannot modify the sample, but you can make a copy that you can edit. One thing that's different from version 1 is that now you shouldn't use units. For example, when you specify the animal's weight, don't say G for grams, just put the number. To get this data into Morph Market, you can either copy and paste it, or you can upload the file. If you provide image URLs for photos, these will be downloaded in the background and available in a few minutes. You can also easily add photos by drag and dropping them onto the Animal Manager screen. If you have a smaller file to import, say less than 100 animals, it should import immediately. If you have a larger file, it will import the first chunk of data to check for errors and give you immediate feedback on formatting and potential problems. If that succeeds, it will perform the full import in the background, which could take a few minutes. Once you have a successful import, you should always give the data a quick check by looking at it in the Animal Manager. In particular, check the traits column. If the system does not correctly understand the traits for a given morph name, you can list them explicitly. Earlier I mentioned that a great way to start your data for import is to first export your existing data from Morph Market. Currently this will export all of the items in your collection. Your collection tab includes animals for sale, on hold, not for sale, and loaned. Export includes some additional columns which are ignored by import, and these are labeled with double asterisks. Once exported, you can modify this data and then import it again. Mm -hmm. 